Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Very fine. Very well. Doing good. I am doing good as well. I'm very happy to be here again for another class with you. Okay. Okay, so it's eight o'clock. Hey, we are four people here. Mm -hmm. Mr. Abdiel, Anita, and Veronica. Anita and Veronica, I, I think you deserve the diploma for punctuality. All, all the different classes you have been here, exactly on time. I am going to request another diploma for you for being on time. Hello, Yari. Okay. Lo so... siento, tiene el micrófono apagado y está hablando. No, okay, tell us again, don't worry. Sorry. Sí, me merezco el diploma. Yes, you have been on time in every single class. Definitely. Yes. Ana and Veronica need to have another diploma. Eso. Yes, because you were always on time. Well, let me see. I hope everybody connects. Good, very good. Here we are. So welcome to our class number 15. In this class, well, we are um, about to finish, right? We are going to finish talking about the abilities and for sure, we are going to go over the platform. We're going to check a little bit on the different things that we should have finished by now. Who finished the platform already? Everything, every single thing. Uh -huh. Anita, did you finish everything? Yeah, I finished today. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Kelly, did you finish everything? Yeah, I finished. Yaritza? Yes, Veronica, yes. did you finish? Yes, finish. Okay, Veronica, looking good, very elegant. <laughs> Mr. Thank Abdiel, you. did you finish? Yes. Did you finish? Finish platform. Excellent. Jairo? Did you finish everything on the platform? Yes, no, no, yes. We lost the Jairo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. Uh, me faltan uh, un par de, de test. Okay, so today is your day. You need to copy everything because we're going oh, to sí. work on this. <laughs> Por eso mismo no me lo iba a perder. <laughs> For sure. Let's see, Marlon. Did you finish everything? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's see, Mr. Gustavo. Did you finish everything? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Mr. Elmer. Hello. Good evening. Did you finish everything on the platform? Evening. Yes, I finished. Excellent. Let me see, Mr. Ernesto. Yes, yeah, teacher. Excellent. I'm finished. I'm done, you say. I finished. Good. So uh, we're going to continue waiting for our friends. And while many of them connect, uh, we're going to finish with the topic that we are missing. And then we are going to go over the platform to check that we have everything done. And okay, okay. Roberto says that he's going to be connected for you for him not to miss the classes, for sure. Okay, so um, we are going to do that. We are going to finish the topic, and then we are going to go over the exams so we can check that everything is done. Okay. How was your day off? Good, bad, so so. ¿Qué tal el día libre? Good, very good. Yeah, you, you feel that you have a lot of time when, when you don't have classes. 
for me, it happens that when I don't have classes at eight, I feel that the night is very long, long, and I'm like, ¿qué hora es? Las siete. Oh, come on. ¿Qué hora es? Siete y cinco. Oh, come on. <laughs> that the time never <laughs> passes. Okay. Hello, Mr. Roberto. Did you finish everything on the platform? Eh, fíjese que me quedé como por el... No sé si fue por una lección que era la 5.1. Okay, so the, today is your day. Era well, la de, uh -huh. que era la de Ken y era la de Ken. Ah, okay, so we're going to finish that today, don't worry. And you can check the video later so you can answer your exams. Okay, so um, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the presentation. Good. This was the last thing that we did um, in the previous class, right? It was about abilities, right? We were talking about talents, right? We were talking about the different abilities. And for sure, this was the last screen that we saw on the previous class, right? On, we had the difference between can and can't. And for sure, how you make questions, how you make affirmative sentences, and how you make negative sentences. The use of can, it's very friendly because it doesn't change, right? It doesn't change for any of the different forms, right? I can, you can, she can, okay? Be careful not to say chicken. She can do it, right? No, right? She can do it. Be careful with pronunciation. Um, and for sure, to make it negative, you say can't with the t sound at the end, right? Can you practice with me, please? Can. 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 In the negative, can. can't. Can. 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 Tenemos que marcar bien la T al final. You say can't. 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 Se tiene que ir como, como que se tiraron un besito al final así. Can't. 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 Uh, no, can't. I said can. No, right? You say can't. 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 Es que la teacher me dijo que como un beso, que no sé qué, y practicando ahí en la oficina. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you say can. Can't. 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 Exactly like that, right? The sound that it has to sound. So if you read, for example, sentences like this one that says, I can sing. It's affirmative. I, I can sing. sing. I, I can't, can't sing. sing. I can't sing. I can't. I can't sing. Even the pronunciation is different. It's like I can sing, and the other one is like I can't sing. Mm -hmm. So you have to mark it for you to make it sound that it's a negative thing. Because imagine if if your boss says, "Who can drive truck?" and you say like, "I can't." Okay, toma la llave. No, 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 I can't. I can't. Right? But you have to make it sound. It has to be very clear. So you say, I can act. I can't act. Can you read with me? I can act. I can act. I can't. I can't act. I can't. I can't. I can dance. I can dance. I can dance. I can dance. I can swim. I can swim. I can't swim. I can swim. I can't swim. I can't swim. Okay. So this can save your life. Okay. La diferencia entre I can swim and I can't swim le salva la vida. No, si puede. To the swimming pool. <laughs> right? And if you can't, so bye bye. Right, say marcho, bye bye, <laughs> because you are not going to come back. Right, I can't swim. You have to mark it. You have to be very specific, and for sure in the affirmative forms to say I can sing very well. And another thing that can help you to mark the negative is like I can't sing at all. Right, at all. The word at all is like para nada. I can't drive at all. And for sure, I am going to understand that, that it's a negative form, okay? The word at all can give me more details about if you can do something or if you can't do a thing. 
right? Because if I ask you, imagine that I am going to take you to a bachata contest and I say, Jose Moises, let's go to dance bachata. And if you say, yes, I can, teacher, that's good. Yes, I can. No, you say, yes, I can. Si decimos yes, yes, si decimos yes obviamente es afirmativo. ¿verdad? Or say like, yes, I can. Or if you tell me, teacher, mm, I can't dance bachata at all. So I say like, nah, let's try. Something is going <laughs> to, to happen, right? Algo va a salir, right? But that's the difference. Like, I can dance very well. It's for sure that you're a very good dancer, right? Romeo Santos, quítese que aquí viene José Moisés. But if you tell me I can't dance at all, it will be like, oh, okay. Nya, 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 nya. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we can find something. But if I ask you, can you dance? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Aquí se nos hace más fácil. Si se nos trae esta pronunciación, ya dijimos al principio, no. No, I can't. If I go one by one, imagine, and I say, Ana Beatriz, can you cook tamales? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. But let's see. Uh, Gustavo Adolfo, can you cook tamales? No, I can't. No, I can't, right? Sergio Rodrigo. Can you dance reggaeton? I can reggaeton. I can't or no, I can't. Or yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ah, okay. <laughs> Put the camera. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> and it will be like, okay, no. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> uh, Mr. Marlon, can you make pupusas? No, I can't. No, I can't, right? Veronica Alvarenga, can you make pupusas? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Very good. Mr. Jairo, can you drive can you drive trucks? Camiones? Can you drive trucks? Waiting for Jairo, waiting for Jairo. Okay, maybe on the chat, maybe he has difficulties. Mr. Elmer, can you drive trucks? Yes, I can. Okay, very good. Yaritza, can you drive trucks? Ah, Yaritza is with Jairo. <laughs> no, she's there. Hi, 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 I'm here. Uh huh. Can you drive trucks, camiones? No, I can't. No, I can't, right? Jenny Romero, can you sing? No, I can't. Oh, Vanessa Guadalupe, can you sing? Yes, I can. Yes, I can, right? Very good. Yes, I can. Okay, now with you, Vanessa. Chan, 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 chan. Say, no, I can't, says Jairo. Good. Vanessa is going to give us an example of how she can sing. Mr. Avdiel, can you sing? Repeat, please. Can you sing? Sing. La, 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 la. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So those are the forms of questions that you can use with can. And for example, if I say like, what can I do? What can I do? What are the things that I can do very well? So your friends can say, hey, you can speak English. You can act. You can dramatize. You can paint. You can draw. And all the different abilities that you have. And if I make the question, who, who can sing? And you can raise your hand. I can. Who can paint? I can. Who can, um, I don't know, repair televisions? I can, you say. Who can uh, fix cars? I can. And that's the form of the question. Or if you know about a person, you can say, oh, Juanito can. 
Who can repair cars here? Who is good at repairing cars? No one, si nos quedamos, no morimos. Who is good with cars? Fixing, repairing, no one. No, I can. No, si no se nos queda el carro en medianoche, ahí dormimos. Yes. My goodness. Who can change, who can change tires? Tires are llantas, right? Who can change tires? I can. Okay, you say I can. Good. Al menos la llanta yes, la I, cambiamos. Yes, I can. I can. I can change tires. No, I can't. Vanessa, that is, uh, that's a must in life. Yeah, aquí hay que saber inglés, Excel y cambiar llantas. <laughs> it's a must. <laughs> and make pupusas. Good. Who can uh, build houses? I can. Okay, Elmer can. Good. Who can uh, speak English? Yes, I can. I can. Everybody. In this case, everybody has to say I can. Because I cannot say like, no, teacher, I cannot speak English. You know, it's very difficult. Yeah. I don't know, but I can't. And in English, come on. <laughs> he will be like, okay, <laughs> come on. Alguien que me ayude que puede inglés? No, I, I don't know English. Sorry, I can't help. Even if it's a little bit, I can't. Who can use Zoom? Yes, I can. I can, you say? I can, mm. good. Who can use WhatsApp? Yes, I can. I can, I can right? I, I can. can. Good, very good. Now, who is good or who can speak in public? Yes, I can. can. Good, very good. That you, that you don't shake in front of the public. So that's good. So those are the forms of the use of can, right? The use of can and can't. You have to be very specific. Now, here I have some examples. And here you have some pictures. What do you think of the first lady in the picture? It says, look at the picture that she's doing. And she says, mm -mm, I can't draw. Draw, it's dibujar, mm -hmm. right? But what about the second one? It's a can I, or can't? Can. can. I, can. I can, right? I can act. What about number can. three? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Sing. Sing. Yeah. No sé si les pasa a ustedes, pero con los audífonos uno canta súper lindo. Pero una vez se los quita, <ríe> todo el bus así como. Como. <ríe> I can't sing, right? Number four. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can fix cars, right? I can fix cars. Yes, Yaritza? What do you mean? Fix. Reparar. Okay. Reparar o arreglar. Right? I can fix cars. It's like that you find the solution and that's it. Right? Room, room, room again. Right? I can fix cars. I can't. But I, I know a friend that can't. So in your case, can you draw? I can. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah, only I only I am the palitos teacher. The only palitos <laughs> thing. I can I can do everything with muñequitos de palitos. That's it. What about number two? Can you act? I can't. I can't. I can't. No one. I, I can act. I am very good at I that. Can. What about number three? Can I you can. sing? I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. Number four. I can I fix can't. cars. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. I can't. Good. Let's see the next ones. We have other examples here. What about this ones? It says the first one. Play tennis. 
I, I can't, can't play I tennis. Can't. I can't play tennis. Look at the poor man there trying to find the ball. Like, ah, yeah. I can't. Number six. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, very I, well. I can't yeah. ice skate very well, right? He would be like to the floor. Number seven. I can't play the piano. I can play the piano. And number eight. I can't cook at all, right? At so all. in your case, in your case, can you play tennis? I can't. I can't. I can't. Can you ice skate? I can't. I can't. I can't. First, because we don't have snow and we don't have ice. That's like a little problem, right? Si tuviéramos nieve y todo eso, tal vez, maybe, right? What about number seven? Can you play the piano? I can. I can't. I can't. No, I can only twinkle, twinkle, little start, and that's the only song that I know. What about the last one? Can you cook? I can. I can. I can, I can cook. Good, very good. Al menos de hambre, no nos morimos. That's very nice. <laughs> we cannot play tennis, but we can cook, and that's more important. Surviving skills. So, what about this type of abilities that I have here? I have a list of abilities and we have different forms of abilities. It can be musical or artistic abilities, technical or mechanical, athletic or other type of abilities. Baking a cake, it's another type of ability. But what about designing a web page? What type of ability do you think this one is? Athletic, musical or technical? Technical. 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 Do gymnastics? Athletic. Athletic. Good. Fix Athletic. a car? Oh, mechanical. 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 mechanical, right? Mechanical, for sure. Fix a motorcycle? Mechanical. 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 Paint pictures? Musical. Artist. Artistic. 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 Good. Play chess? Jugar ajedrez. Art. Other. I think in this one it will be other, right? Other. It's another type of ability. Play the violin. Musical. Artistic. Musical. Musical or artistical. Ride a horse. Athletic. 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 Good. Sing English songs. Musical. 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 Surf, athletic. 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 athletic, and tell good jokes. Other, other, other. Do you know what's the meaning of jokes? No. no. Bromas, chistes. No. Who here is good at telling jokes? Tenemos alguien aquí que sea bueno contando chistes. Y que usted diga, ni ha empezado el chiste y ya me estoy riendo. No one? Moises. Moises. Jairo. Jairo. Okay, Jairo and Moises. Is it true that you are good at telling jokes? Taverito. Taverito. <laughs> Vero, are you good at telling jokes? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, para let's. Nada. Para nada. I say, Moises, where are you? Are you good at telling jokes? Hey, I lost uh, Jose Moises or, or Moises. Uh, hey, I lost the other Moises. Okay. So from all these abilities that I am showing you here, which ones are you good at? Who can bake a cake? Me. Me, okay, good. I can bake a cake too. Who can design a web page? No one? No one. Who can do gymnastics?
No one. Fix a car? We said that no one, right? Fix a motorcycle? No. No. Hey, paint pictures? Oh. Okay, good, very good. Play chess? Okay. Excellent. Play the violin? No one. Ride, ride a horse? Who can ride a horse? ¿Quién puede montar a caballo? No one. Hey, ¿Qué pasó? Fuimos de la generación sin terrenos y sin más talentos. I cannot write a horse. <laughs> Who can sing English songs? Me, sometimes. Good, good, good. Yeah, look for the lyrics all the time. Who can surf? Who can surf? No, no one. And tell good jokes? I can. <laughs> okay. People, my God. We need to do more things. We need to go out more often. Tenemos que salir más, ya vi. We have to do things. Good, but it's it's okay. So you see, it's a, a, well, it's a big space for opportunities for us to learn more things. But if I ask, play soccer, cook pupusas, eh, dance cumbias. Who can dance cumbias here? Me. 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 Good. Very good. Who can uh, cook Christmas chicken? Me. Me. So you see, those are other abilities that Salvadorians have. Okay. Excellent. Si aquí vendemos hasta las piedras, aquí. You see, we have abilities. Definitely. And here, the last activity that I have for this uh, presentation is uh, a short reading. Right? We have four different strategies for four different abilities. I am going to make it a little bit bigger for us to be able to see it. And I am going to start with this one. And in here, can you read it? The first one, this one? Yes? Okay, so it says, climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building. In, this, in the Empire State Building run up, the climb is 1,050 feet or 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Yeah, si nos quejamos con las 10, 15 gradas de la oficina, these ones are 1,575 steps up. Winners can reach the top in just 10 or 11 minutes. Do you think that you can do it? ¿Podríamos hacerlo nosotros? No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. In the 10th in the stair, we're like, <gasps> <laughs> Oxygen. <laughs> Miss, pero se, ni hemos salido. <laughs> so imagine 1,575 steps. 1,575 grados. Maybe not. Who has gone to Cerro Verde? Cerro Verde and all the stairs that you have to go down to go to uh, Izalco Volcano? No one? Okay, so it, it is very similar. It is very similar, right? That you see and you look up and it's like more and more and more stairs. Like, you know, it's like, yeah, vamos a llegar. Y ves para arriba y más gradas y más gradas y más gradas y más gradas. So it's terrible. So this one, maybe we can't do it. Let's check on the next one. It says, take eight to 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire US in this 2,900 mile or 4,667 kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep for eight to 10 days. 
Razors can sleep only about three hours each day. Imagine in this bike race, it takes uh, eight to 10 days and you cannot sleep. Could you do this one? Do you think that you can do it or no? No. It's like, no, no, I no, I can't. Let's I check on the next one. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Down River Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles or 41.5 kilometers in just two hours. This is the longest down river race in the US. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Imagine you in this little boat, all down Rio Lempa. Could you do it? Yes or no? No, I can't. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you say you don't take the challenge. Let's see the last one. Only possible in Alaska in the Iditarod Sleet Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchor Anchorage to Nome over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in nine to 12 days and receive cash prices. Would you like to take this challenge? I do yes. like. You would like. Hey, yeah. that, that's interesting. It's the first student that says, like, yeah, I would like to do that <laughs> one. Imagine it is 1,850 kilometers through the snow and the cold and the wind, but you receive cash as a price. So it is not that simple, but it looks interesting the four races are kind of challenging so we are going to go on the teamwork time to the platform okay let me share it and i hope everybody is okay i'm going to share the screen for the platform so we can see where we are and what we are supposed to finish Okay, so this is what we did on the previous time, right? The midterm exams and everything. And uh, according to this one, we have section number four that was about broccoli is good for you. That was mainly about food and food procedures, right? And I know that you have finished all this one, right? Yeah. We did the food pyramid. We did it in class, right? We started this in class. Uh -huh. And then we have the noun, the count and non count uh -huh. nouns, uh -huh. right? We did it as well. And we had the first evaluation with some and any, right? We did this conversation in class. Do you remember? It's like, hey, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make. What was the option? Do you remember? We have lots of potatoes. Let's make. Let's make any or let's make some. Some. Some, right? Okay. Do we have. Any. Any mayonnaise? Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy. Some. 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 We need. Any. Some some some. Some. We need some, some because it was an affirmative sentence. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. Any I onions. onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some let's celery. Get some no, celery. I don't want any, any, any celery, celery in my potato salad. But let's put some. some. Some apples in it, apples in potato salad. That sounds awful, right? Then we continue to study and we talk about the different types of breakfast, right? We talk about fish for breakfast and we continue here and we on a scramble sentences with adverbs of frequency. We did this exact exercise in class. 
And it says, I snacks it at hardly ever work. What was this sentence? I hardly ever, I hardly ever eat a snack at work. I hardly yeah. ever eat snacks at work. Very good. Number two. I sometimes I sometimes pasta for dinner. Eat, eat pasta for, for dinner. For dinner. 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 Okay, for dinner. And the last one. I often I often have with my family. I often, no, I often have the, I dinner with dinner with my family. With my family. I often have dinner with my family, right? That was the correct answer. Very good. So then we continue to study. We continue studying, right? We discuss an article about special foods for a specific purposes. And for this one, according to the reading, you were supposed to answer, right? The exam. And according to the article, right, these were some beliefs that people have for the new year, right? Some people eat tangerines, some people eat apples with honey, basilopita, that it's a bread with a coin inside, or grapes in the middle of the night. Allá tienen aquellos metiéndose las 12 o en sol. At night. Uh, uh, in Japan, they eat mochi or mochi, rice cakes. And Americans... Uh, from the southern states, it black eyed peas, that is rice, uh, black eyed peas and rice with color greens, right? Here you have the beans, the rice, and the color greens. And they had some questions, right? Some people eat tangerines. Tangerines are like years. Sweet, acid, or round? How are the oh. tangerines? Mm. Round, right? Round. Some Jewish people eat apples with honey. Honey, right? Honey. Honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat basilopita, that it's a bread with a rice. What does it have inside? Let, let me show it to you. It has a coin inside. Tiene una moneda adentro. Bread with a coin inside. The next one, right? It has, it has a coin inside. Be careful not to eat it, right? The next one. In, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. In Spain. In Spain, right? In Spain. And the Japanese eat... Rice. Rice. Rice, rice cakes, rice cakes for strength in the new year. Some Americas eat black eyed peas and black eyed peas are like, and here we have dollars. Dollar. Okay, and it says, oh. some Americans from the Southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with color greens. Black eyed peas are like coins. And the greens are like dollars. So in this case, it says the black eyed peas are like coins, como oh. monedas. And the beans are, and the greens are like dollars. So this oh, was it? basically uh -huh, like the group, the black eyed peas. And with this one, finishing this one, you were supposed to go and cast a. Uh, Section five. Section five was truly dedicated to sports, right? Everything that we studied, right? The different types of sport is the mister in the conversation. Good. The sports and abilities, for sure. And this was the practice that we did in class. And in the knowledge check that you had some WH questions with uh, related to sports and we did the conversation in class and it says hey i watch sports on television every weekend really what sports do you like to watch soccer is my favorite do you usually watch soccer what when who where or how on sunday afternoons it says 
When. When, right? When do you usually watch soccer? Because you have a day in the answer. And do you usually watch it at home? The place. What is the option for a place? Where. Where, right? No, at a friend's house. He has a really big television. Often do you go by riding? What do you use before often? Oh. How? How often do you go by riding? Very good. Uh, oh, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Do you go? At about one o'clock. Where? What? Well, uh, in this one, it would be like, what time, right? But I think we don't have the option. When? It would be when. When do you go? Usually at about 10, 1 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Do you usually go with? Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. Let's see. Yes, it's when. It, it would be what time? But the option they have here is when. And so we continue in the process of the learning. And we have the pronunciation of can and can't, that it's what we were studying. And for sure, abilities, right? I can't sing very well. This is what we just talked about. And I know you recognize these pictures, right? La reconocen? We just did it, right? Se las acabo de presentar. Lo acabamos de hacer. In this one, you have to write can or can't, right? And we follow the example, right? We mark them here, right? I can act can. very well. In this one, you have to mark can. can. In this one, you have to say can. can't. Right, and I think the apostrophe is not the correct one, but yeah, that's a fight that we always have. But if you don't have the correct apostrophe, you come and copy here. Charan, esas son técnicas, estrategias de vida. Si no tienen el apostrophe, copy them. I can't, can, can't, can't, can, can't. Okay, this is what we just did. Ahí no me pueden decir, uy, teacher, eso no sé qué es. We, we just did it. And for sure, you are going to continue here and you are going to find something curious. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> the different abilities that we just did. And here we have the reading that I just shared with you. Okay, according to the reading, we are going to answer some questions, right? According to the article, maybe the ones that are already finished. Here you have the article and it says place New York distance 320 meters winning time 10 to 11 minutes. And in this one here you have to choose the place. Where is this located? Take eight to ten days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Where is the correct place? From Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. For sure. The distance, you have to look for the distance. How, how many miles are you going to go over? Two thousand nine hundred. Two thousand nine hundred, right? And the winning times? It says... to ten days. From eight to 10 days, they can sleep for only about three hours. From eight to 10 days. Good. And exactly the same here. What is the place? Arkansas River, Alaska. Okay, Arkansas River. What is the distance? 25. 25.7 25. and the winning times? Uh -huh. Two hours. Two hours, right? Two. Two hours. What about this one? And it says, in Alaska, the 
a sled dog race. It is in the Anchorage to Nome. Arkansas, Alaska, Alaska. or Irvine? Alaska. Alaska, right? It says only possible in Alaska. You have it there on the top. And the next one says the distance that you are going to go over. What is the distance? 1,150. 1,150. And the winning times? 9 to 12 oh, uh, days. 9 to 12 days, okay? So you see that it was not that complicated to finish it. And for sure, this is the last exercise here. And you are going to go over, or dear friends, the final evaluations. In the final exam, you are going to have a listening, a conversation, the choosing the adverb, WH questions, can or can't, and conversations. Here in the listening, you have people describing their homes from one to four. You have to type the letter of the person that it's describing. Type the numbers in letters. You don't need capital letters or a period, right? Number the pictures from one to four. And here we have the listening. I am going to share my sound with you. And I am going to- Page 45. Can you listen? Yeah. Exercise four, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. What picture do you think that one is? Number one, two, three, or four? Four. Four. Number four. four. So this one is going to be one. one. Okay. Because it says that it has two floors. You see, one and two. Two floors, dos pisos. Let's go with the next one. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Three. What is the number two? Three. Three. Right? Three. I sleep on the sofa, she says. Mm -hmm. That's number two. The next one. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. That is? One. Number one. one. I don't know where to write on number one. Wait. Let me see. Yes. Ah, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Three. And for sure, without listening, we know that this one is going four. to be number four. <laughs> right? But we need to listen because those are the politics of four. the enterprise. That's My it. family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Okay, we have a big yard. It's a little white house for sure. It is number four. Excellent. So we finished that one, right? And then we go here, complete the conversation with some and any. We have this exact conversation, but we change only the fruit. It's like, mm -hmm. hey, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make some it is the same conversation right and do we have any lemon no we need to buy some and we need some lettuce too oh i don't want any okay. lettuce i hate lettuce then let's get some, some. olives no i, I don't want, want any yeah. olives in my fresh salad but let's put some, some cucumber in it. 
cucumber sounds good. It was the same conversation that we just did. It was not that complicated, right? Remember, some is for affirmatives, any is for questions and negatives. We continue with the next one. And it says, never I play soccer on weekends. Read the following sentences and choose the best one. Remember the correct position of the other of frequency. Can you use never before I? Yeah. No. Incorrect. No. ¿Cuál es el único adverb of frequency que podemos mover al principio? Sometimes. Sometimes. Entonces aquí, never I play soccer on weekends. Sometimes. Incorrect. They usually study English at night. Correct. 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 Sometimes she feels very tired. Correct. Correct. Correct, right? We can put it at the beginning. He often call her in the morning. Correct. Correct, right? No sé por qué solo la llame en la mañana. Hmm, curious. <laughs> Ajá, hable en la noche. A ver qué pasa. <laughs> they know, right? You listen to me hardly ever. Incorrect. Incorrect. It's like you hardly ever listen to me. Okay. That was just the tip. That was like the piece of cake of all the evaluations. Choose the correct meaning of the WH word. ¿Qué significa? ¿Cuál es el correcto significado de cada una de las eh, WH words? Who? Sorry, what is... teacher. Yes. This is not the final test or yes. Yes, it yes. is. <laughs> okay. I know. Yeah, if you haven't done it, it's like, uh, pay attention. Si I alguien... don't, but I don't, but I, but I think that it was the fine exercise or session. No, it, this is the final test. Okay? okay. Si alguien no había terminado algo, este fue el momento oh, de la noche. What is the meaning of who? Time, place, people, choice. People. Exactly, people. right? People. Where? Place. No, place. place. When? When um, choice. Time. 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 Oh, time. When time. Mm -hmm. Which? Which choice. Is choice. Choice. Right? And what? Think. Think, Think or object. object. Good, very good. So you were there very close to the light. Y ya nos acercábamos a la luz. And it says, use can or can't. And it says, I am very hungry at everything right now. I Everything I right can. now. I can. I can eat everything right now. So you are going to write can. Recuerden que si no tienen el apóstrofe, solo copien aquí para que no tengan problema. A cheetah run very fast. Can. Can, right? Maria, you help me? Can. Can you help me? Do my homework. It's too difficult. I can't. Do can. my I can't do my homework. A baby drive a car. Can drive a baby can drive can. a car. Can't, right? Uh -huh. Can't. Ay, dale la al niño que vaya al super. It's like, no, 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 no. Okay, so that was the thing. And for sure, the last evaluation of this, it says fill in the blanks with the conversation. You have to complete the sentences with the correct forms. It says, in an apartment, Linda, you do in you, an apartment? Do you live? Do you live, right? Do you live? Because you, it's going to go with the normal form of the verb. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I like in a house leave leave I no i don't i live in a house no i don't i live in a house very good and eat a yard 
Does. 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 Uh -huh. have. does it have? Excellent. Have. Because with have, when you use does, the verb is going to be normal, right? No. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. 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 That sounds nice. You alone? Do you live? Do you alone? live? Do, Do you live, live alone? No, I I, I don't. don't. No. I, I live with live. my live. Mm -hmm. don't Okay. That sounds nice. Any brothers or sisters? Do you have? Do, do, you, Do you have? have? Yes, I have. I no, yes, do. I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. I, I have. have. I have four wow. sisters. Very good. Let's see. Really? Let's does see the next one. House. Really? Does your house have? Does your house, does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. Does, does. it it has it has four. Yeah, because that is another sentence. Like yes, it does. It has mm -hmm. four. Mm -hmm. four. You, your own bedroom? Do you have, do you have your, your own bedroom? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I, yes. I do. do. Yes, I, I do. I am really lucky. We did this conversation in class. Mm -hmm. Remember it? Yeah. <laughs> like, simos ahí. Hasta ustedes pusieron sus propios ejemplos. Okay, and once you finish here, once everything is done, it's done. The platform is done, another module to the pocket. Easy as that. Okay, so once you reach this place, everything is done. Do you still have any other question? ¿Tienen alguna otra duda, pregunta, comentario, sugerencia? Ese no lo entendí, volvámoslo a hacer. Something. Yes, no, no, yes. No. Ok. Hey, do you know where Isaías is? We haven't seen Isaías for, like, for three days. Hmm. What's going on with him? Pónganle ahí en el chat, Isaías, ¿dónde estás? Te andamos buscando. Wanted, se busca. So, this is basically it. So, if you hadn't finished this before, right? If you hadn't finished the things on the platform, now you have all the things solved. Maybe if you had questions before, now all the questions have been clarified. And I hope that everything is clear for you. The idea is that you finish everything today if you want, because everything is very clear and very everything is very fresh. So my recommendation will be that if you hadn't finished, if you haven't finished the platform, please, after the class, go and fill up the, the evaluations. You see, it doesn't take more than 15 minutes to finish everything. It is going to be very quick and it is going to be very fast for everybody. So if you, had, if you haven't done it, it is going to take you a couple of minutes. Now that you have the answer, it's going to be easier for all of you. It is going to be very, very easy for you to complete all the exercises. So uh, I think that if you haven't uh, complete everything yet, my recommendation will be to go and do it right now, okay? Si le faltaba algún ejercicio, si de repente algún ejercicio les quedó abajo de 70, 80, lo podemos ir a repetir para que nos quede al 100% todo y estemos completos con todo lo de la plataforma. Okay, así que José Moisés, al nomás salir de aquí, to complete yes. all the platform and to finish <laughs> everything. Remember that on Monday we have the presentations, right? Each of you is going to have your final evaluation on Monday. 
It is going to be short, nice, and for sure, uh, it's going to be something simple, one or two minutes each, but please, it's your final evaluation. So uh, I really need you to be here and for you to complete everything. That will be our final day as well, okay? Monday will be the final day. And they say that uh, Recursos Humanos of every place that you work with uh, has the information for the next module. Ya nos informaron que toda la información para el siguiente módulo ya la tiene que haber compartido Recursos Humanos con ustedes. Si no me equivoco, no sé si ya recibieron el correo de parte de ellos. ¿No? Sí, teacher, ya. Ok. Yes. Ok. No. Ok, si no, pues eh, nos podemos acercar a preguntar y si no, pues también podemos consultar en el chat de que ustedes todavía no la han recibido para que el encargado nos pueda contestar. Ok, my dear students. And uh, that will be it. Let's prepare for Monday for the presentation. Ok, have a beautiful night. It was a big pleasure for me to serve you once again. And I'm going to see you on Monday for our final, our final class. Ok. No sé quién va a traer los sándwiches, la horchata, para la despedida. Vamos a hacer ahí una, una despedida con pizza y gaseosa. <ríe> like in the school. Y va a haber baile, así que pueden venir de particular. <ríe> Have a beautiful night. Ya. Yeah. <ríe> Uy. <ríe> well. Miss. Yes, Miss Vanessa. Tell me. Sorry. Eh, no alcancé a escuchar bien. El lunes va a haber una como evaluación final. Yes, my dear. De todo lo que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Everything. Your expectations for the next module, the learning of this module, what was your favorite part, what did you learn, and what are the things that you expect for the next class and for the next teacher. Okay. La presentación nosotras lo haríamos o, o lo va a hacer oral. It's an oral presentation. If you want to make a PowerPoint or something extra, that's your extra mile, okay? Si ya quieren traer cartulina y eso por ahí, ya, eso es extra mile. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear students. See you on Monday for the next class. Have a beautiful night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye, my All dear. Right. Bye.